Hey everyone, and welcome to uh, my very first video. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is walking you through my island. Uh, I've called it Nurburgring, and for those who don't know what it is, uh, it is a racetrack in Germany uh, that a lot of the top manufacturers use to uh, test their latest and greatest vehicles, but also uh, get bragging rights when it comes to top speeds and just uh, machine dominance. Uh, to give some ideas on and feedback on how this kind of came about, I was watching my girlfriend um, doing her, her own island called Tahiti. Uh, she, at this point she has well over 1,000 hours uh, in ACNH. She has every item in the game pretty much and helped me tremendously uh, to speed up my production of this island but also was a great source of inspiration and uh, I was joking with her saying I don't you know I think I could do this I think I could do an island that's a five-star rating that people would enjoy that and that is unique and that would stand out because we went through countless dreams and looked at countless um, I, other islands from people and I th never saw a racetrack and it hit me I said I have to do it so we found we found a switch and I challenged myself and her saying I could do this fast forward 300 and almost 300 hours at this point and here we are so let's take a look at the map just to give you a sense of the layout uh, i have a lot of houses you'll see that i have uh five six people here four of which are in the center of the racetrack dominated by the whole upper right side of our map here and i'm going to over lay what the true nurburgring looks like to give you a sense and then i'll i'll do a little bit of rotation to kind of to kind of show you where everything fits and out hit models pretty much as closely as possible uh, the real thing so majority of the island is dominated by the racetrack and the rest of the structure was just about having a few highlights few things that i like so we'll, we'll go through that as i walk you through the island the also also see that the residents that live here are mostly race inspired like Kit Kat, Agent S, Big Top. Um, I had to add Lucky because I feel he was one of those ex-racers who had a terrible accident, uh, which is why he's all bandaged up. Uh, and then I had to have Raymond because I truly, uh, I don't know, he, he was one of my very first campsite visitors. And there was no way I was going to get rid of him. Anka is someone that I just recently invited. You guys will see a video of uh, me using an Amiibo to get her to come. Uh, it will be a tutorial video for everyone who was always curious about Amiibos. And finally, Deirdre, uh, she wasn't my OG, so I just like how spicy she is, so I kept her. Apollo, the eagle, just makes a lot of sense. So without further ado, I think we, we start the... Uh, the island tour from here uh, so from the airport we walk in and I have a grandiose entrance here thinking double waterfall gray statues bunch of uh, race car beds to set the tone uh, you're definitely at a racing island and you'll see that there's these race tracks that lead outwards and onwards so let's go straight to the racetrack why, why don't we go that way uh, so you guys can see what what this was all about this is my house here, uh, not completely finished with it inside, but here I can do a little detour in the front. Always like the silos to make it seem like I was uh, in, in a castle of some sort. And uh, here we are, the entrance to the racetrack. So you'll see a little concert area with the F1 sponsor DJ and uh, drum uh, just made a lot of sense. Uh, Formula One is part of Norberg history and it just made a lot of sense. As we go through here we'll walk uh, through some stands, buy our tickets here, 
uh, buy some some trophies if you wanted to to commemorate as well some swag from the different teams and we'll go through those as we go agent to s taking some pictures and being surprised so let's look at the entrance i thought two godzillas kind of made it made sure that you knew you were getting into something epic and unique so let's go we cross over the bridge and we land straight into the pit stops and yes, I'm in December, so everything's a little bit slowed down because of snow. Uh, but ultimately, let's look at the car manufacturers that I have. I have Porsche, Lamborghini, Audi, and McLaren. And we'll, we'll walk through those a little bit later, but essentially uh, each of those are laid out very similarly. But um, I try to customize them individually uh, with their own colors uh, because the, each of those companies are have a huge reputation when it comes to the racing industry, but also they have their same, their own flair. I wanted to, to get a special feel, so we'll look at those as, as a, how I changed and customize all these. So on the right side of the racetrack, you'll see that we have these, these seats. They're empty, uh, have about... Uh, I want to say 40 on one row so and I'm kind of currently building out the second row as we speak um, gives you a sense of how much space there is and just individuals to come uh, through the race so we're gonna walk through uh, on the actual racetrack but before we do that let's take a look here <laughs> uh, you'll see that I've created this experience uh, or feeling of having a ton of fans uh, on, in the stands using Matryoshka's and the custom swag from the individual um, competitors so up close I think is what you get the most feel but essentially I try to customize the Matryoshka's through all the five variations and then also I had t-shirts and sweaters from the four different brands and I had two versions of each and I was trying to mix them up I uh, wanted to get a sense of a full a full stadium of and full support for the racers and um, to give you a sense in terms of Matryoshkas I have about 55 Matryoshkas on one row uh, so I have two of those and all of those were made uh, by hand so obviously there was one thing and then you could you could get a sense that it's about similarly the same for the mannequins with the the swag so a lot of a lot of work went into building that so let's go through and start at the top or the finish line whichever one you want to <laughs> call it I have a gnome here who's holding the the finish flag and Essentially, I put a few cars, two variations of each of the teams um, around the entire race, racetrack. All of those are team colors that we'll see as we go through. I put some racing cameras everywhere to get that feel that it was being broadcasted live. And uh, I also try to keep the essence of the true racetrack, which is a blend of outside nature with trees and emptiness so that's why you'll see an orchard here with some flowers it just kind of mimics everything and this is one thing that i wish acnh would kind of let us do which is build a bridge on the second level so that we could have a tunnel here uh, so for now i have a visual effect as if it was going underneath and continuing and there was a tunnel but in reality we have a wall so let's just keep on going around the racetrack. I'll take a little shortcut here. But essentially you come here, there's the infamous S, and this is one of the fastest race, which will lead up to the L-shaped, a nice little S before we get to the uh, finish line and it's just a race to the finish. Uh, so that was the that's the racetrack, and essentially I think this uh, th this was just a lot of work to give you a sense of all of my custom designs. A lot of them are being used up by by this uh, racetrack. I have I think 22 or 23 patterns customized just for the flooring of the racetrack. You're very limited in terms of the angles that you can do so I have 90 degree angles and I have the 45 degree angles uh, to make it all work and um, I had to take some 
freedom and variations on, on, on how best to represent this track to the best of my ability for, uh, for the sake of this island. So from here, I think we should go into the individual pit stops and give you a sense of how this was created and why the rationale and some of the um, decor choices. So this is Porsche. Uh, first thing I want to point out is the color. I chose blue for them. Uh, a lot of people would probably say, why not yellow? Why not red? Many things uh, from that perspective, but mostly uh, red was reserved for McLaren because it was closest to her orange. It just made sense. and. I still thought the blue was classy enough and electric enough to be something that represents Porsche. The inside of this uh, pit stop is all about class, which is why you have like that royal crown kind of finish. Every tool and aspect is there. Two computers for the engineers that are going to do racetrack analysis, an extra suit as well as an extra car that people are working on right now. Clearly there's a little bit of oil spills here and we've got tools a little bit laying around but ultimately it gives you a feel of an active pit stop. And I feel this kind of complemented really well the uh, story I wanted to say for this island. So you'll see as we go through these others uh, their layout is very similar. The difference will come into color choices as well as uh, just a few decision choices and I'll go over them as we go. Uh, so you'll see that I have customized everything with a little sign and their own color in terms of the gas pump with a with a logo as well. So Lamborghini, I'm pretty sure you guys all know what color I'm going to choose for them. The electric green, we all know Lamborghini for their electric green vehicles, so it just was a no-brainer here. Very similar layout, well, I chose brick finishing because I just feel like this is something that screams Lamborghini, saying we have crazy cars and we have some high-class stuff, but we'll go into custom bricks uh, when it comes to shops and mortars. So. Very similar layout, two computers, a lounge area, some swag on the walls, a generator in case something breaks, and uh, the sinks with with uh, some tools. Let's move on over to uh, Audi. Uh, there I took some creative freedom. Uh, when you think Audi, uh, I think class, simple, uh, I think black cars, silver cars, and I decided to go with yellow. <laughs> Why yellow? Well, the, the truth is the yellow couch is something I wanted to use, and I could go either way, either or, in terms of putting that in the Porsche, in the Porsche pit stop, but at this point... I just thought it went really well with the high-tech flooring, the future tech flooring, and then just the the wall the choice that I that I took here. It just looks very classy and upscale, and you'll see that they're a little bit more paranoid than everyone else. And there's an actual mechanic working on the car, and you'll see that there's uh, no oil spills or tools to be seen. Uh, they're just so technical, logically advanced that. Uh, they have some magic going on and it's this person here behind the computer and this one right by the car that, that makes everything work and of course the surveillance camera because why not be paranoid right and last but not least McLaren and I think also there you guys will have an expectation of what to what the color choice and scheme was for this one they're known for their orange cars so it only made sense orange interior red cars brilliant colors to say hey look at me I am here and they have a reason to do to, to, to be like that they stand out they have fantastic vehicles that are just breathtaking and I can only dream of owning one of those but the layout very similar to the others swag on the wall some computer uh some computers here i'm going to finish this on by putting some mannequins and some engineers and probably all of them 
but the overall layout was was pretty much the same and they are obsessed with safety too it's actually well hidden but you see the security camera all the way up there so that's the pit area and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go backwards here I added I want actually let's go this way uh, let's go this way and go down victory lane because when you spent a day racing or a few hours racing uh, you, you when Vic, when it comes to victory you want to celebrate in a place that really stands out so I created this little sec area here which is the podium uh, you'll see the gold, silver, and bronze medals surrounded by two uh, eye sculptures, bare eye sculptures, and the statues up there. Cameras to uh, let everyone know what's going on. And I have the little mini racetracks here for those that know. We just, uh, ACNH just released our latest update. And uh, these products and these items are currently not available uh, for us to get. Nintendo got a little bit smarter and kind of froze everything in time so that fast forwarding doesn't allow you to get everything but some uh, you know if you know the right people you can you can get them and touch them and catalog them and then can kind of buy them on your side so that's that's what I did here I have a few more of these that I'll be putting around the island as we go I think they're great additions uh, to to um, to my theme island so Walking leftwards, uh, we see here that we have the antenna. Makes sense. Everything needs to be televised, and we are a green island, hence the solar panel. Maybe as a um, as a spectator, you start getting hungry, and I decided to place this little restaurant right by the racetrack. It is very uh, close to reality there is a restaurant on the racetrack it's actually up above the pit stop lanes and it's open to anyone it's not restricted to people who have paddock access only the idea being hey everybody should be able to enjoy the race so i decided to incorporate it here i used a frozen custom theme uh, just like the way it reflects and everything and the color the color choice right blue i'm a big blue guy so it just made a lot of sense to keep it this way we have a little heater here in case you get cold it is december here on my island which is scary but with all the uh, fast forwarding that i did to get stuff completed here i am and i think i'm going to go back so that i can experience thanksgiving as we go so here i did a little access and exit so that we can get back to the main part of the island uh, let's get back to the airport section I just feel like that makes uh, uh, gives you a sense of direction so here's the main entrance if you go forward I tried to do something a little bit exquisite for the museum a lot of people use um, fossils I put two fossils on the side but I felt like statues made it more of a of an impact statement for the museum so some spotlights and some statues here and right next to it what else uh, should I put there other than a space area since nothing's in the museum as it relates to space I thought it made sense to display it on the outside so I put all of these space items here uh, UFOs, satellites, steroids <laughs> and uh, it's just it's something that I love I have fascination for space so it made sense to me to to have at least some sort of section here up north is my villager slash residential area custom pathing and each of them come with their own car I mean you know you're at a racetrack why wouldn't you why wouldn't you have your own race car so and all of the race cars are color coordinated either through uh, the front door or the color of the house so here we have all of the 10 houses lined up continuing with the fascination with stars i have a stargazing area right here and if you go to the left i was trying to incorporate an international area slash egyptian area and here we are we've got um, some Egyptian themed things you need 
Oh, you also need, you know, the um, lighthouse to make sure that no boat crashes and a pagoda. Everybody needs a pagoda on their island. It's just, it's a minimum. It's a minimum. <laughs> Lucky just stargazing. So if we get out from the residential area, uh, I did a few things uh, to kind of set a real high-end tone for the island so we have a little bit more statues here with David and uh, the um, Statue of Liberty and then I'm a huge 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 coffee drinker and I always have a very difficult time I'm sorry there's stars everywhere and I never get that so I'm gonna wish <laughs> as I hear them uh, but back to the common sense of this area being a coffee fanatic uh, I wanted to have a coffee section and I like both Starbucks and Dunkin Donuts so I decided to put one of each and uh, you can choose come and enjoy whichever drink you want sit down in the comfy cho the chairs or the the benches here have a read have some fun if we have a campsite visitor you can come here and if you wanted to just hang out and just look at the end of the island and see what has uh, what there is to offer on the left side of the ocean you can just sit there and enjoy coming down this way little campsite here with a lot of spaces to eat sit sleep tent uh, for all the kids who just want to lay outside by the beach and then I have this little boardwalk idea I wanted a, a fun section Essentially, I wanted to have people uh, give people options in terms of what they can do. So I created this boardwalk. I kind of put all of the pinballs, pinball machines that's available, some snacks, some sodas, some arcade games, foosball table, darts. I see that Kit Kat is working out in front of the DJ machine. And we have some fun and games where you can win some bears and prizes. And if you're really feeling curious about what the future holds for you, why don't you get a little face, um, a little palm reading or um, psychic reading, just to kind of give give you some insight of what the future holds. I put both of my stores right here, gave immediate access, and lined up really well with the town hall. I just feel. Uh, they should stick together and it gave me some some space to do everything else. I think uh, I should have probably also talked about this area for everyone who wants to go out and fun and party. Uh, there's also the people who just want to sit, relax, and have a good time, peaceful. And there's no better place than this right here, a little Zen garden with the big statue head and maybe you'll make your own designs in the sand as we go and uh, don't forget the gong let everybody know that you're at peace and you're ready to enjoy let's explore the right side of the island that is still a work in progress but I will show it for now because I am sure I will have subsequent videos showing you what I have done I have a blank beach there Whoa bunch of stars today. Uh, I also have a island full of jocks so obviously I needed a, a gym with full options uh, and the beach just made it the ideal place because who wouldn't want to run on the treadmill watching the water or feeling that that breeze kind of hit you as you were running. Here is uh, my girlfriend's house very similar layout i'm all about symmetry so we all have the same kind of layout with a different color little things that are different on the outside as well to put our own little touches and there is celeste okay i have a little bit of a surfboard area i'm going to be putting a stall here as if this was a surfboard store if you come up here, I have a private little beach area. Just lay down, take one of the swimsuits, go for a dive, and just enjoy. And once you're done with that, maybe you want to enjoy an outside movie. So this is the outside movie theater section. I feel this is, still needs a little bit of work. Maybe a second screen. I'm not sure yet, but uh, 
the general idea is laid out there. And finally, a little bit more of some R&R. Maybe you're not a fan of the ocean. Maybe you just want to chill out by the pool. So I have a pool here. Continue the green factor here with the windmill. And why not just sit and enjoy a coconut breeze right before, um, right before you call it a day or go for a swim. And that's pretty much it. The terraforming uh, that has gone into this island was insane. I will be putting out a making of a video. Unfortunately, I don't have all of it, mostly because I didn't have access to a capture card uh, at the times that I was working on it. But uh, it will detail enough to give you a sense of how much work uh, went into it. Let's let's just pull up real quick the, uh, the the map to give you a sense. So that entire uh, place with the racetrack was multiple levels. I decided to first flatten everything, and then I put all the walls and designed. I changed the design layout two times as I was doing this the angles and everything to just make it all work and and we'll go I'll, I'll go through that a little bit more in in the making of uh, for this island but essentially it was a ton of work and I'm so proud of the product that came out I, I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I would love to hear your feedback if you saw something that could use a little tweak or if you think um, there's something that I can change or I should change or think about implementing please let me know I'm always looking to improve this I'm going to try to get this to a point where I can finally breathe a sigh of relief that it's done I feel like there is I may I may never get there but uh, right now I'm really content with the product that I have and I can't wait to share a little bit more videos about tips and tricks of what I've learned on the way. I'll probably try to do a terraforming video as well. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to end the video here for today. Let me know any positive feedback, any negative feedback. If you think this was not up to par, anything. Love to hear the feedback. Love to get a sense of what could be changed to really get it to, to the next level. And with that, be on the lookout for a few more of my videos. If you like this, subscribe, hit the like button, get some notifications. I'm going to be doing a ton of different games right now. I'm playing ACNH a lot, but so you're going to see a lot of ACNH content first, uh, but you'll also see some Xbox as well as some Clash of Clans. So uh, be on the lookout. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time and see you all on the next video.